How we doing folks? Welcome back to another video view. I'm the Tech Gooch and I have a review to actually add on to an accessory to my new A6300 Sony camera that I got and that is a screen protector for the actual display that's on the back of the camera. Now the one thing, one of the shortcomings of the A6300 is that you cannot hide the screen in transport or you know keep it out of the way so if I'm not using it that I can protect it. It's always displayed, it's always out. And of course, with any screen, there's always the potential of scratching it. And in this case, screen protector keeps you from scratching the screen, obviously. Uh, so Expert Shield sent me over this glass screen protector for the A6300 series cameras. They make these for a lot of cameras. Uh, the A6300 should also work for the A6000 series as well. Uh, in the packaging, uh, essentially you get, pop it open here, on the back side, instructions on how to basically put it on, right? Um, I'm just going to do it my way and I'm going to show you here in a second how I, how I put it on before we go into the actual review after I use it, but uh, essentially it's, you know, clean the area and uh, things like that. They give you a little microfiber cloth to clean the screen before you put it on and uh, stuff over the lifetime warranty that it does come with, as well as the actual protector itself. Now thankfully it comes in a nice rigid container so you're not going to crack the glass in shipping, but it's just this nice little clear piece of glass. Uh, so essentially what we're going to do now is go into the installation of it, and then uh, I'm going to, you're, you're not going to notice it, but at the end of the video it's going to be after I actually have used it for some time. So uh, we're going to put it on, and then I'm going to actually give you my review at the end. So uh, if you don't want to watch me put it on, go ahead and skip forward, otherwise I'm going to get right into actually putting it on the camera itself. So. Here we go. All right, so I've got everything here for me. Um, I have cleaned it up a decent amount on the screen itself. I had a little cleaning solution that I threw on the screen itself to get everything off of it that I had on it. Um, and so now I'm about ready. I would recommend they don't send you in the box, at least, that I've seen uh, any tape material or anything like that to uh, pull anything off the screen. I have some from an old screen protector that I had put on my phone. So um, I like using these tapes because it'll pull anything that's on the screen. It'll help get all of it off. So if there's a little piece of dust and everything, even if you're wiping with a cloth, there's a good probability that you may get uh, a piece of dust on, on there. And in the instructions, they recommend uh, doing it in like a bathroom environment, like after a hot shower, which actually makes a lot of sense. That humidity in the air will actually cut down on any... Uh, dust and everything that's in the air because the water drop bills will grab onto it and bring it down. So it says step one peel off the mask and apply this side to the device screen. So it's actually like that. That's going to go on there. I'm going to double check it. I'm going to make sure that I go over maybe one more time here. All right, so line it up and see how it's going to look. Maybe I should have done that first. Looks like it's going to cover almost basically the entire black, so that's good. That'll make it easier for me to distinguish where to where it's going to stop. And this is where I like certain screen protectors that come with uh, positioning tabs. Oh, crap. Repositioning tape. I'm grabbed on the wrong spot. Yeah. So maybe that's the best way to do it. Use tape to hold on to it so you can put it in the right spot. I think this time I have it in the right spot. There we go. Alright, so I had a little bit of difficulty to it. You can see there how it's on now. Covers the entire screen area with a piece of glass, actual glass. Um, which, so now I'll have 
screen protection and if I wipe it off with my shirt or whatever I really don't care because of the fact that I'm not scratching the screen I'm scratching this glass screen protector so now I'm gonna actually go into its use and try it out for a little while and we'll come back you know, for you it'll be instant here so I'll be back okay so it has actually been several days since I actually installed the screen protector on my camera um, and ever since I've done so I have really not noticed any difference in the actual screen itself other than the fact that I know that there's a screen protector on it um, you can simply you know wipe it off now because I'm not worried about scratching the, the glass at all uh, because if I get little scratches well it's what I bought the screen protector for um, but I mean it looks very very simple it's not a huge thick of course it is glass so it's just like a screen protector for your phone where it is going to make it a little bit thicker um, but aside from that i don't get any more additional screen glare because of the the glass display it doesn't really obtrude or uh, you know come into contact with anything more i just know that i'm not scratching the screen if i do scratch the screen uh, i'm just scratching the protector i want to say thank you very much to expert shield for sending these over to me to review because they're pretty awesome. Um, I have no problems with it so far, and I've had nothing but great luck with it. So um, while it took me a little bit to get it set the first time, um, I would say for somebody that's actually doing this before you start, just when you take this out, take two pieces of scotch tape, stick it to the front of the glass so you could have something to hold on to, and you can just set it right on top of it. Now obviously just keeping the camera straight upright, and boom. It'll make it a lot easier than the way I did it. Um, but, yeah, that's exactly it. And, and to be honest, after reading the instructions more, they say put some tape on it. It'll make it easier to install. So, yeah, they're right on that one. Uh, so that said, uh, that is the uh, glass screen protector for Expert from Expert Shield for the A6300, uh, Sony A6300 camera. Um, pretty awesome obviously they make them for other cameras as well so it's not just for the a6300 that's just what the camera that i i did the review on so um awesome job guys uh definitely something uh, if there's if it's not the nice leather protector that i have on my cameras here it's the screen protector for the screen those are my two absolute must accessories for almost anybody that has one of these cameras because they're awesome um but yeah, check check out Expert Shield. I'm going to post the link directly in the link below to this specific screen protector so you can go ahead and purchase it. If you purchase it through the link, you are supporting the show, and I appreciate that. Otherwise, check us out on uh, thetechgooch.com. Check us over on uh, social media, Facebook or Twitter, at TechGooch. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video review. Thanks for coming, guys. See ya.